Folks, I'm on board the USS Midway where over a hundred veteran aviators are here today to talk about their exclusive stories and show off some of the amazing aircrafts that they have flown before. And I wanted to share a couple of these amazing heroes with you guys. Take a listen. It's an event that allowed people to meet some of the most prestigious veteran aviators. Aboard the USS Midway, hundreds of naval pilots who have flown historical aircrafts were there to share their stories from the past. And it's an opportunity for us, uh, some of us old guys, uh, to, to get into our trunk and dust off our flight suits and come out here on Memorial Day weekend and stand in front of the aircrafts that we flew. It's a way to honor our veterans and our fallen heroes this Memorial Day. Today, on one of their busiest days, the USS Midway saw nearly 5,000 visitors. We climbed to 500 feet. Veteran aviators like Dick, Scott and Bruce were all aboard the USS Midway. Each of their stories were told with a hint of nostalgia, but all with the purpose to serve our country and fight for our freedom. Vietnam and Cambodia with this aircraft flew with the Army and then um, and then on uh, to uh, other commands that uh, I was privileged to be a part of. Well, some of the things we did were just anything that would, anything that they would need a helicopter for. We used to pick up target drones out of San Clemente Island. For this Memorial Day, I asked some of these legendary aviators what they reflect on this holiday. I think about all my shipmates and, and all the people I serve with. Yeah, but it's all about them. It's not about the veterans. It's not about guys like me who did come home. It's about those that didn't. It's very important that we think that the general public remembers the service and the sacrifice it, that all those warriors, both men and women, who paid the ultimate price in defense of our nation. Reporting aboard the USS Midway, I'm Regina Rita for CBSA.